Hey, today we are gonna explore the controversial internet figures slash personalities iceberg. The original author of the iceberg is you slash jbrazen. If you found the video interesting, don't forget to like and subscribe. Trey Eric Sasseler, known as Lens Cap Productions or Mr. Anime, initially gained recognition as a prominent anime reviewer on YouTube, playing a pivotal role in shaping the anime community. However, his tragic story took a dark turn in 2012. Despite battling health issues, including a pneumothorax diagnosis, Sesseler's mental state deteriorated. He exhibited alarming behavior, such as researching serial killers, using real guns in videos, and shooting buildings at night. In a shocking turn of events on March 20, 2012, Sesseler killed his mother, brother, and family pets, intending to commit mass at Waller High School. He was arrested, revealing a chilling plan inspired by the Columbine High School massacre. Sesseler was sentenced to life in prison. The anime community, once inspired by him, responded with shock and grief, and his tragic downfall serves as a somber reminder of the complexity surrounding mental health and its potential consequences. Behind the meme, or Kyle, Kai Bryce, gained fame on YouTube by dissecting the history of internet memes. Initially praised, his channel faced criticism from notable YouTubers like The Needle Drop, EMP Lemon, Pyrocynical, and Memetastic for allegedly producing bland content that rendered memes obsolete. Despite rapid initial growth, criticism mounted, with accusations of misinformation and poor meme documentation. Large YouTubers claimed his repetitive formula, use of sources like Know Your Meme and Wikipedia, and excessive gifts showcased a lack of effort and authenticity. In response to the backlash, behind the memes channel growth stalled. Videos by EMP Lemon and Pyrocynical, along with a controversy involving Anthony Fantano, contributed to the decline. Bryce's mental health took a toll, evident in venting videos expressing suffering due to harassment. In a shocking turn, a series of videos implied self-destructive actions, culminating in a video titled The End that was later removed by YouTube for violating terms. In late 2022, Behind the Meme made a surprising return, explaining memes like Spider-Man pointing and Florida Man. He faced another hiatus, but resumed video uploads in early 2023, covering the Borg meme. Despite the roller coaster of controversy and personal struggles, behind the meme persists in navigating the evolving landscape of internet culture. ONLYUSMBLAD, born Brian Risso, gained popularity as a Call of Duty content creator known for using the knife mechanic, handicapping himself in game. However, his downfall began when he started heavily drinking in 2015, eventually becoming a drunk streamer. His YouTube channel was terminated in 2020, and all old videos were removed. His present channel, under his wife Becky's account, is dedicated to drunk streams. Blade faced numerous controversies, including public intoxication incidents, accusations of racism, and In 2016, he engaged in debauchery towards Twitch mod A Cup Alley and Zoe Berger. Accusations of being underage girls and scandal further tarnished his reputation. In 2019, he voluntarily turned himself into police to prove his innocence. One of the most significant controversies involved an interview with Chris Hansen in 2019, where Blade denied allegations but faced public backlash. He has consistently received hate online, becoming one of the most disliked figures on the internet. Blade's actions, including an incident of animal abuse in 2019 and spitting on a cat in 2022, added to the negative perception. His rivalry with streamer OG Geezer escalated into physical altercations, with Blade facing punches and threats. Despite attempts to reconcile in 2022, the animosity persisted. Blade's tumultuous journey includes struggles with alcoholism, legal issues, and a pattern of controversial behavior that has led to a mixed and often negative public perception. Elliot Roger, born in London and raised in Los Angeles, gained infamy as the perpetrator of the 2014 East La Vista case, where he murdered six people and injured 14 before taking his own life. Known for his association with the incel, involuntary celibate, movement, Roger documented his grievances on his YouTube channel, expressing frustration about rejection by women and envy of sexually active men. Born to British filmmaker Peter Roger and Malaysian Chinese research assistant Lee Chin Roger, Elliot faced family conflicts and was diagnosed with pervasive developmental disorder in 2007. Despite seeking therapy since age 8, Roger's mental health struggles persisted. On May 23, 2014, Roger initiated the attack by stabbing three men in his apartment, then shot three female students outside a sorority house, and a male student in a deli. He further drove through Isla Vista and striking pedestrians before exchanging gunfire with the police. His rampage ended with a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. Before the attack, Roger posted a video on YouTube, Elliot Roger's Retribution, outlining his motives to punish women for rejecting him and sexually active men for their perceived better lives. 
Simultaneously, he emailed a manifesto titled My Twisted World to acquaintances, detailing his upbringing, frustration, and plans for retribution. Roger's affluent background and feelings of entitlement contributed to his distorted views on relationships. Despite his family's awareness of his mental health issues, including pervasive developmental disorder, Roger did not receive effective help. The Isla Vista massacre underscored the tragic consequences of untreated mental health challenges and fueled discussions about the dangers of toxic online communities like in self forums. Zelian OP, a Twitch streamer known for his content in the gaming community, became embroiled in controversy when allegations arose that he was faking a disability for sympathy and financial gain. Zelian OP initially gained attention by portraying himself as a quadriplegic gamer, streaming games using a mouth-operated joystick to control his character. This unique approach to gaming garnered him sympathy and support from viewers who admired his apparent determination and perseverance. However, suspicions began to surface within the Twitch community, with some users questioning the authenticity of Zelian OP's disability. As doubts grew, a critical video was uploaded by another Twitch streamer, highlighting instances where Zelian OP appeared to break character. The video presented evidence of Zelian OP standing up and walking, seemingly contradicting his claimed quadriplegic condition. The controversy escalated when Zelian OP's alleged deception extended to charitable acts. He had received numerous donations and contributions from well-meaning viewers who believed they were assisting a disabled individual. The revelation that he might have been feigning his disability raised ethical concerns about the misuse of public goodwill. Facing mounting scrutiny, Zelian OP eventually admitted to the deception in a now-deleted video. He confessed to faking his disability for attention and financial gains, expressing regret for his actions. The Twitch community responded with a mix of disappointment and anger, as Zelian OP's deceit undermined the trust of both fans and fellow content creators. Chuck Martin, widely known by his online persona Quantrell Bishop or ELPRESADOR, is an American YouTuber residing in Youngstown, Ohio. Initially gaining popularity for his sports videos, particularly focused on the Cleveland Browns, he expresses frustration with the team's performance and has a strong dislike for various coaches and the team owner, Jimmy Haslam. In addition to sports content, El Presador used to create videos about video games, particularly first-person shooters like Call of Duty and Battlefield. He gained attention for his humorous and critical take on Xbox 360, later transitioning to become a Call of Duty-focused YouTuber, creating El Presador Rage's videos that entertained viewers. Starting his YouTube journey in 2008, El Presador faced initial backlash for criticizing Xbox 360 and praising the PS3. He founded the Trey Brotherhood but later switched sides, supporting Xbox and insulting Sony. His popularity soared during the peak of his Call of Duty content, marked by a notable guest commentary on the Sandy Ravaged Modern Warfare 2 match. El Presador has been involved in online feuds, including Twitter conflicts with Boogie2988 in 2014, where he criticized Boogie2988's physical appearance. Additionally, he engaged in a flame war with DSP Gaming in early 2018, resulting in some videos being taken down for harassment. On July 30, 2018, El Presador's main YouTube account was terminated for violating community <laughs> Tyler Millard, known online as Mumkey Jones, rose to fame on YouTube in 2016 with satirical and politically incorrect content. His notable works include analyses of spree killer Elliot Roger, Mumkey's anime reviews, and Is It Kino? Podcast. He joined the Procrastinators podcast but was later kicked out. In 2018, YouTube terminated his channel for violating guidelines, leading to the creation of Simeon Jimmy. Monkey faced controversies, such as a cheating scandal with a fan and a subsequent breakup with his girlfriend. Despite setbacks, he revived his content under Simeon Jimmy, collaborating with others and engaging with his audience on various platforms, including Patreon and Twitch. Monkey, once fearing loss of support, income, and fans, has successfully rebuilt his online presence and continues creating comedic skits and podcasts. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe as there will be more videos in the future.